Today, we will learn about downloading, installing and adding device images in EvenG. Let's get started. First, visit the EvenG website and download the necessary files. EvenG has two versions. One is the Professional or Learning Center Edition. This is the paid version with advanced features and enterprise support. Another one is EvenG Community Edition, CE. This is the free version with limited features. Here are two download links. Click on this link to start downloading the Community Edition, CE, version. Downloading the Community Edition, CE, version may take 40 to 50 minutes, depending on your internet speed. After downloading the EvenG Community Edition, we will install it in VMware Workstation Pro. After 40 to 50 minutes, the download is complete, and we copy the file to my software folder. The EvenG ISO file has been copied to my folder. Now, let's install it in VMware Workstation. Create a new virtual machine and select Custom, Next. Select your virtual machine hardware compatibility then next. Select a guest operating system Linux and select the version Ubuntu 64-bit. Enter the name for your EvenG, and select your disk location. Select location where your EVM will be stored on the host PC. Click Next. Type your desirable HDD size and select Store Virtual Disk into multiple file. It is recommended to set not less than 80 GB HDD. Click Next. Press Customize Hardware, then assign at least 8 GB of memory. Set the processors to 4 cores or more. Select the desired network NAT adapter option on your PC to prevent changes to the EvenG management interface IP. Additionally, add more network adapters using GNITNIC as needed. Remove unnecessary adapters, such as the printer and sound card, to free up extra resources. Select the CD slash DVD option, choose Use ISO image file, and browse to your downloaded full EvenG CE ISO file. Then close tab. Confirm VM settings then finish tab. Power on EVM. Chose install EvenG community and confirm with enter. Make sure that English is selected and confirm with enter. Make sure that English US keyboard is selected and confirm with done and enter. Select continue and confirm with enter. After completion of this task, the EVE installation will auto reboot to continue phase 2. Wait for some time to complete this stage. Once the installation is complete, the EvenG login prompt will appear. Log into the EvenG console, username is root. Password is Eve. Type your preferred root password for Eve, default is Eve. Remember it for further use. Confirm with enter. Note, typed characters in the password field are not visible. Then retype your root password again and confirm with enter. Choose your Eve VM's hostname. By default, it is Eving. You can leave it as it is. Confirm with enter. Using the arrow keys, select the option static. Confirm your selection with the space key, followed by enter. Type your desirable leave management IP, subnet, gateway. Confirm with enter. Type your network's primary DNS IP. Confirm with enter. Skip secondary DNS. Skip NTP server IP and skip this step. By default, it is set to direct connection, no proxy. Confirm selection with enter. Eve will reboot automatically. Need to wait some time to rebooting Eveng. Log in into the new credential. Now open a browser and try to log in into Eveng GUI console. Log in into the web using username admin and password Eve. By default, no files or folders are present. First, we need to create a folder and name it lab. The folder has been created successfully. Now, create a lab and name it test. The lab window is now open. 
Try to add a node. By default, no nodes are available, only network and VPC options are present. For testing purposes, add a VPC node. Now, proceed to add a network. Network to VPC connect via link, the lab setup, sample node, and connections are complete. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Now, open WinSCP to copy multiple nodes, such as Cisco switches, routers, firewalls, Palo Alto firewall, and more. In WinSCP, enter the IP address, user ID, and password, then click Login. In WinSCP, left side is your PC folder and right side your VENG folder. Navigate to the correct folder based on the image type, go to slash home then slash opt then slash on netlab then select slash add-ons. It contains three main folders Dynamips used for running legacy Cisco iOS images. EL used for store Cisco iOS on Linux, IOL, images. Chemo used for holds images for virtualized devices like 40Gate, Palo Alto, Juniper, and Cisco Vios. We need to copy the node image to the evng slash chemo folder. After the copy is finished, check the new node image from the evng GUI console. For verification, we will add multiple nodes and arrange them in sequence. Please follow along to learn how to add nodes and establish connections between them. Nodes have been added, and connections have been established. Now, add text to highlight the project name. In this video we learn about EVNG as a network emulation platform for testing and learning. It supports Cisco, 40Gate, and more, allowing virtual labs, configuration, and troubleshooting. Ideal for IT professionals and certification prep. Thanks for watching this video.